boys, the Pluxer, and today we're back. Another episode of Bijos ARG. So here we are now at the Alex Bill, the, the main guy, or should I say. So this is the source of the ARG right here, Alex Bill, or Alex the SpongeBob guy, as he's now known as. But yeah, so. Uh, he was kind enough to make this epic video right here. Don't feed the muse of every... All films. Yes. You probably think that there's another channel that uh, we have to check out. But don't worry. We have it all covered. I should have uh, taken a look at him at the Paradox 1313. But, uh... Oh, only after I made the video about Paradox 1313, um, then I discovered him. Eh? Alright then, here we go. Hi there, my name is Wesley Harold. Hi. I'm a young independent filmmaker who just graduated from film school, and I am beginning work on my very first feature film. And I won't be able to do it without you. I've been trying to fund this film for months, but coming across money for independent arts like this is really tough. That's why I'm turning to you all on the internet to help me crowdfund this passion project of mine. This film has a very deeply personal story. Already trying it's to make a film? It's about the life of my grandfather, Eugene. Before Eugene passed away, he struggled with Alzheimer's. I took it upon myself to write down all of my favorite stories that he used to tell me as a kid so that they wouldn't be forgotten or lost to time. He was always very supportive of my dream to become a filmmaker. So in his honor, I'm turning those stories that he used to tell me into my first feature film. It's called 813 Maple Street, and it's named after the street he grew up on. Towards the end of his life, it got harder and harder for him to remember, and to tell me these stories, which made writing the script for this film really a personal difficulty. But then I realized I could incorporate that into the film by having both the visuals and plot deteriorate as the film progressed. So the actors playing yes, the characters will suddenly change. The names of places and things will suddenly get all mixed up. Visually, the film will become much more abstract and surreal to better represent what it's actually like to go through Alzheimer's and lose your memories. I'm looking to raise $25,000 to cover the costs of actors, equipment, locations, crew, everything we need to make this dream become a reality. If you donate even one dollar, it would mean the world to me. This is a film I feel like I have to make, not just for myself, as a filmmaker, but for my grandfather, Eugene, as well. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope I can count on your support. I wonder if he actually have a GoFundMe? I mean, he should have... Uh, how do you... YouTube! Come on, dude, why? God damn it, how do you ask... I don't know how. Is this it? I don't know if this is it. Oh no! Uh, my name is Velsley Harold. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, and I am trying to raise 25k for my first feature film, 813 uh, Maple Street, based on the life of my grandfather, Eugene. Ah, yes, yeah, so. His grandfather's name is apparently a G. I don't know if just how it happens to be Mr. Krabs' first name. Oh, uh, oh, then we have a fact, uh, dude here. Fun fact: Eight Thirty Maple Street, the name of the film and the street where Velzy grandfather grew up. It's a real place, actually. Several places, houses, apartments, and that, that sort of stuff. But uh, the most interesting result of Eighteen Thirty uh, is uh, Brooklyn, New York. It is a psychological. What? Huh? Well, alright then. Uh, so, that was it there. But yeah, he then he had an update. Hmm, I wonder what update he had. And obviously, oh yeah, there's the more button. So, let me find my first feature film update. Super Bowl marketing campaign uh, for Paradise. For 1313 Paradox uh, Street. Uh, yeah, that's the. So I think that that is a trailer. Um, maybe is it on the uh, official? Well, let me see. Isaiah. Yep, it sure is. All right, so. Hi everyone. My Has um 
Thank you so much for your support. <sighs> Brilliant. All right, so he has an update. Did he reach the goal? Let's see. Hi everyone, my name is Wesley Harold. Some of you might have seen my previous video where I was raising money for my first feature film called 813 Maple Street. At the time, yes. I was trying to raise $25,000. Well, today I can officially announce some amazing news. Not only did we reach our goal, but we more than doubled it. As of today, mm. we've raised over $56,000. Wow, which is just I wonder how insane. he did that. This is all thanks to a studio called HMF Entertainment. When they saw my first crowdfunding video, not only did they like the idea so much that they bought the rights to it, they gave me more funding than I ever thought I was going to get. This is honestly a dream come true for me. I was starting to think that this film might never get made, but thanks to HMF Entertainment, we're actually able to bring it to life and do it justice. HMF has also come onto the project as a creative partner, so there's going to be a couple small changes to the plot that I think ultimately makes the film work a little bit better. First of all, it's no longer called 813 Maple Street. We've changed the title to 1313 Paradox Street. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because mm. it was actually part of a viral marketing campaign that you might have seen during the Super Bowl. So this means that the film will actually now take place in the Paradox movie franchise. If you're not familiar, franchise? this franchise tells alien sci-fi stories that are disconnected but all take place in the same cinematic universe. But don't worry, HMF has stood by me and made sure that the emotional core of my film has not been changed. These are just some small changes that I think improve the film overall. The film will now be found footage, which means that everything we see was actually filmed by the characters. It's gonna be like Wreck. Really powerful storytelling device. The film also now takes place during an alien invasion, which I, you know, it's a little bit different from the initial pitch, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, you know, I, Wait, wait, wait. Do you think the muse is... You know, I don't know when... The, when was this video uploaded? Uh, 17 May 2020. Okay, so 17 May. When was Alex Ross' theory? 17 May. Yep, uh, the muse is telling him to do it. Yep, we now know. Uh, it came out... <laughs> it came out three days after his muse received So I wonder if uh, the muse is actually, like, telling him what to say here. Or if he has, like, a script uh, right there somewhere. But, yeah. It, it feels like uh, he is, like... The muse is like... The, the paper <laughs> and him what to do pretty much uh, but, uh, and it also seems to be on the ceiling uh, yeah. but you know I think an alien invasion is a perfect metaphor for my grandfather's struggle with Alzheimer's so you know I <laughs> honestly it, 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 it's an even better film he time. doesn't Thank agree with it at so all much to everyone who made this possible especially to HMF entertainment with whom I couldn't make this film without I am so excited to start work on this project soon and honor my grandpa's legacy. I'm sure he'd still be really proud of me. Thanks again, everyone. Bye. So, yep. It's no longer about that. He's right up being told what the fuck to do. Um, by the way, this, this man right here... Uh, if uh, you like brighten it up, uh, you can see like don't feed the muse text in there. So uh, that's interesting. But now uh, it's time. Don't feed the muse uh, horror web series that was originally posted inside of SpongeBob conspiracy videos. This is a compilation of uh, scenes so far from one to eight. Uh, the the web uh, series will continue on this channel. Yes, watch full theories. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be. Uh, Playlist. Oh, then we are re-beginning. All right, whatever. Let's uh, yes. Why did I even stop? Jeez, not many views, huh? I got a 
to start off by saying, wow, the reaction to my last two Spongebob theories has been insane. Have to say no! Have to say no! Squilliam, you lying, deceiving bastard. I didn't even realize that. I'm glad you guys are enjoying my ridiculously deep dives into the show. I mean, I have to watch so much Spongebob and read so much of the Wikipedia to put these theories together. But it's worth it because the writers actually take the time to set these things up. Now, a lot of people have been asking, Alex, how do you come up with these crazy conspiracy theories? What? How? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, wait, wait, wait! I didn't see that before. I think. Th do you think this is HMF me? Weird. HMF beat. <laughs> Yo, what up? I take this ground beef. Whatever. There's a monster in the dark. You guys have been insanely supportive with these Spongebob theories, so I guess I have to make more. Alex Bale out with another video. The makers of Spongebob oh, Carl. put in their own message to brainwash you people. Oh my god, thank god for Alex Bale. Look at that. He's helping me prove my point. You know what? That is awesome. <laughs> Maybe some of you love them a little too much. You know, I got other videos, right? I, I, I make films and stuff too. Anyone want to watch those? Anyways, I've been your host, Alex Bale. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing in the fridge. Posters. Hi. Uh, hey. Just want to let you know that I, uh, I think I'm gonna take a break from the SpongeBob videos for a little bit. That's not a good uh, choice. It's not you. I mean, I mean, the videos are great. People, people love them. It's just, I think I want to go back to making actual films for a bit. You disappoint me and go back to my response. Uh, oh, okay then. Uh, thanks for everything. I guess I'll just, I'll just see you around. Yeah. What happened to his voice? That's not the muse we know. Millions of views. You have sponsors. Why would you forsake them? Okay. I just, you know, I don't, I don't want to really make these videos forever. You know, I don't want to be known as the, the SpongeBob guy. You are the SpongeBob guy. Go. Oh. Guest, 
but I know who you really are. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a different person. Uh huh. That was probably nothing. Back to bag no spun. The pacing is slow. It fundamentally fails as a film. Alex, go back to making up, SpongeBob mate? theory videos. No one wants to see your awful horror films. I've been your host, the one and only cynical critic. And remember to stay cynical. Damn, he got that light. And the ring light. And we're back! What's Yay. up? I'm your host, Alex, the SpongeBob guy, back with another SpongeBob conspiracy. I've said Yay. it before, but the overwhelming support for these videos is insane. So, I'd be stupid not to make more. I mean, everyone loves them, right? Hello, fellow truth seekers, it's Conspiracy Carl here. Welcome back to The Awakening. I have been awakened myself. Can I get that merch? Immense lies of this person right here. This <gasps> liar, Alex Bale. Well, almost everyone. So I showed a bit of this Where's conspiracy guy's hat? reaction in my last video, and apparently he didn't like that, so now he's claiming that I'm part of some giant Illuminati conspiracy. Somebody mm. looks like they're a puppet for the Illuminati. Yeah. Yes, you. You, sir, have been inserting secret messages into your videos. Evil. Bruh. Evil lurks there, people. It's honestly really funny. You, sh you should check them out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Alex. We've got more on the way. I'll see you next time. Yeah. Hey, listen, that, that theory was awesome. You know, I don't know how you keep coming up with these, but, I mean, they're great. Hell yeah, they're great. I hit the and, and listen, you were, you were totally right, you know? The people want Spongebob theory, so who might ignore them? So, thank you. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, got the meat for you. <sighs> Alright, listen. If we're gonna work on this, then we need to work on our communication skills. Because this, this creepy quiet act, it's getting old. We need to put uh, our skill points into Q communication. Eh? All right. Ah, yes, a note to make sure I don't accidentally press or activate that light switch. Hello, Chabu. Conspiracy six. Oh no, it's the moose. Why, why are you on my ceiling? My boy, you have done well. Uh, it sounds exactly but like... We are to continue our work. I will require something more. It sounds almost like that. From a form. Oh, the goofy Now, this goober. is the part of the video where I try to make you think I'm about to start the theory, but then... Oh, this is oh the one boy, I boy, a sponsor! Everyone loves those, oh my gosh, but a today, sponsor? I'm sponsored by a company that I'm really excited to talk about. As an animal lover Definitely. myself, I am so grateful to be sponsored by Happy Meat Farms. If you want to learn more about them and what, Wait, what they did he say? myself, I am...
actually sponsored by a company that I'm really excited to talk about. As an animal lover myself, I am so grateful to be sponsored by Happy Meat Farms. If you want to learn more about them and what they stand for, go to happymeatfarms.com. Mm. Holy snap, it's the steak! I didn't see this. Well, actually, once. I do know he gets a cat from this. There should be a friendship. Hey, uh, what's the biggest animal that you have? <laughs> we have big animals. Hello. I didn't see this. Oh, he has a cat. Oh, I mean, of course. What the fuck is that? There's light underneath there. He's not gonna feed the cat. All right, buddy. It's time to for you to go. Yep. Hell yeah! Let's commit crime of animal cruelty for reuse. Let's go. You wanna be sacrificed? He has the theories. He did not sacrifice it. Cruise not. Hey. Oh, uh, he has the name so Gary. I am having so much fun making these videos. Don't worry, okay. we've got plenty more on the way. I'm just making SpongeBob stuff from now on. I've been your host, Alex the SpongeBob Guy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Mm. Hey, I'm gonna assume you're still down here. Um, I thought about what you asked and- Is this in the basement now? Sorry, I, I just can't. I mean, it's, it's one thing to, to buy you meat, but a living animal, like a cat, that's not a line that I'm willing to cross. But why? And if- that means you're not gonna give me SpongeBob theories anymore, then so be it. Oh. But honestly, man, <laughs> good luck finding someone else that's gonna be willing to be a part of whatever this weird relationship is between us. Oh, uh, it's not gonna work. Come on, I know you can hear me. If you don't give me the cat, I will take it my show. Hmm. Yeah, you like that, little boy? You like that, my boy? I took the cat because you didn't give me. <laughs> what did you do? I devoured it. Now back to that voice again, huh? My boy, I took what you brought me. Yeah. No. No, 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 but, but I changed my mind. I, I, didn't, I didn't give you the cat. You do it now. the cat. You brought it to this hole. I simply finished the job. No, no, th this is not what I wanted, okay? This is- this isn't worth it. We are fucking done. Fucking done. Oh. Yo, it's a theory. Seven. We both know you can't go back now. <laughs> okay. This is the last time that I want you out of this house. <laughs> nope. No. You're the first sightings. There goes that cat. I doubt that cat was the biggest animal there.
had to be something bigger. Wow, I just realized I've uh, I've been making SpongeBob videos the for over the a snakes? year now. Uh, definitely yes. did not think that I'd still be making these a, a year later. You guys wouldn't like all immediately unsubscribe and leave me if I stop making these, right? <laughs> uh, thanks again for watching. I've been your host, the, the SpongeBob guy. I will see you. I'll I'll, I'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs> Can't even finish. Hmm. Who guessed you could make an eerie music out of the swinger? Alex. Alex. Yo, it's Harold Velsley. Uh, yeah, sorry, um, I've just got a lot on my mind lately. How's the, uh, Spongebob theorizing going? It's good, it's good, um, I'm actually thinking about maybe stopping. Why? They're huge! Yeah, I mean, people watch them, it's just... I didn't go to film school for three years just to make Spongebob theories forever. Yeah, mm. but I mean, it's just something you're doing now. It doesn't mean you have to do them, like, forever. It's easy for you to say. I mean, what, you're a year out of film school and you're already directing commercials? Yeah, but I didn't go to film school to make commercials either. It's just something I'm doing for now. I like Spongebob theories. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I don't know, these uh, these videos also just, they, they take a lot to make. I'm not sure if I'm up for it anymore. I see. Dude, up for it? You're just like watching cartoons all day. That sounds awesome. I would kill to have as many followers as you, man. I'd be set. I've been trying to get my film funded. I wonder if that's I foreshadowing. Yeah, sounds like a pretty sweet thing. For right future. Hmm. What was that? Aha. What is a muse? What to do if a tenant won't leave? Ten ten tenant? How to defend yourself from a larger opponent? Spongebob no weenies allowed full episode how to defend your home Paradox files trailer. Ah, uh, I see He has butterflies in the background that ties into uh Paradox turkey turkey. Get a bigger knife. Hey. What um, is that? I'm still serious about you leaving this house. Box right here. Man. It's not that I don't appreciate everything you've done for me, it's just I think we want very different things. <laughs> no, I don't think. You know, I don't I don't want it to come to this, but I will I will use force if I have to, so you better go. Ch try me, mortal. Hey. Hi. Hey. Victoria, what are you? Uh, what are you? What are you doing here? Um, I was just around. Thought I'd stop by. Can I come in? <laughs> uh, inside? Inside? Uh, no, no, no. It's just it's not a good time right now. Um, okay. In all honesty, it kind of seems like you're going through something. I just wanted to check in on you. Uh, I appreciate that. It's just I'm fine, you know. Uh, yeah, you're the fine. SpongeBob stuff has been keeping me really busy. I'm a little stressed about that, and um, but I'm I'm fine. You should you should probably go. You're being really weird. You're not answering your phone. You're living in total darkness. Can you just talk to me. What's going on? Okay, fine. Okay, we can talk. Just just not here. Fine. Do you want to okay. get coffee or something? Sure. Fine. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> I gotta put something away. Just stay right here. Ah, uh, he put the knife away. Gary! Ah, oh, fuck. Shit! Victoria! Holy shit, this is so serious. Victoria! Victoria! Did he not hear the door open there? Bro, that's unrealistic. Wait, Victoria! Do not give me the silent treatment right now! I swear to God, if you did something, I'll... Get me! 
hunk that would devour human beings. Oh my god! Victoria! Where were you? I was using your bathroom. Why the fuck are you pointing a knife at me? Why were you in his bathroom? Okay, it doesn't matter, okay? You cannot be here right now. No, I am not leaving until you tell me what's going on. Listen, listen, I promise I will explain everything to you later. You just, you cannot be in here. Why are you so afraid of me being in your house? Victoria, I promise you, this is not the time. We have to leave this right now. This is the time. The news isn't gonna eat me. Uh -huh. What? Booze. You mean the Mules. big... Tentacle monster in my basement? Yeah. Yes. How do you know about that? I gave it to you after throwing up. I threw. What? I threw up. Oh, shit. I gave it to you. Yes. Ah. So, nice. When you say you have a muse, you mean you. Also have a creepy monster thing in your basement giving yes. you Spongebob theories? Well, no, it didn't give me Spongebob theories. It got me my commercial jobs. I didn't even mm. know there was more than one. I have like a thousand questions right now. Like, what exactly are they? Where do they come from? What do they want? <laughs> oh, um, He's like staring to I the... I probably don't know that much more than you. See you. Mine just showed up in my house one day and eventually it left. Damn. Wait, yours left? As in you don't have a muse? No. no. I just kept giving mine meat, got me a permanent job, and then it left. Bruh. Listen, I know they seem really weird and creepy at first, but honestly, they're just here to help. You're an a HMF like employee. employee, I we know that. Meat? No. What have you been feeding yours? She Mine ate a cat. Hang on, you gave your muse a cat? Imagine if, if she's cat. Ramona. It was in my home and then it, it took it, okay? It wasn't my fault. Okay, well, obviously you don't have a cat in your home when you have a muse. Listen, yeah. Just keep giving it meat, and eventually it'll leave you with enough SpongeBob theories to last you for years. She's definitely... She's definitely, a, like, a HMF employee. Or something. Hi. So, I've been thinking about things, and um, I'm willing to continue our relationship, but things have to be very different this time. No more eating living animals. Let's just stick to the store-bought meat, okay? Whatever. Take this shit. Oh. Okay. Uh, great. Glad we're on the same page. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sorry about all the shouting and the craziness. You know, I don't have anything against you personally. I think if we just communicated better, we could have, <laughs> you know, avoided a lot of the issues that we were having. But I'm glad we finally have an understanding. Fuck. Get stabbed, eh? This is for no bringing me alive meat. The punishment. I mean, that was a striver. Yo. The parasite effects. Or the man, beach, and whatever. Yo, the fridge. <laughs> Damn, he's high. Yo, food. Damn, he devoured everything. He had Oreos. You think there has to be an Easter egg hidden in here somewhere? But I hate him if beef. Something about it. Take the meat. Hey. Oh, by the way, 
Apparently that's a watermelon that he's eating. No behind the scenes thingy. Delicious. Delicious. Thank you once again for supporting us at Happy Meat Farms. Together, we're building Hi, Ramona. a better future. Cut! Um, let's move on. He's a producer. Uh, I tried to work things out with the muse, like you said, and then I'm pretty sure it like bit me or something, and now I'm like feeling really weird and craving raw meat. Uh, could you just call me back, please? I'm starting to freak out a little bit. That does kind of sound realistic, though. Well, yeah, from this, I think she's clearly a hatred of the boy. Yep, he loves the meat. I. Victoria! Where have you been? I've been trying to call you all day. Hey, sorry, I'm at work. Okay, so like the muse like bit me, I think, and now I'm yes. like, craving raw meat and- Yeah, I know, I got your messages. Just calm down. This is a good thing. How is this a good thing? <laughs> it's almost over. Okay. It's almost over. Here's what I need you to do. Uh, go to the horror load dude's guy in house. Yes. Damn, he's he looking kind of sick. Hello. Ah, funding. Oh, hey Alex. Hi. Hey Wes. Uh, sorry for just barging in on you like this. Um, I was actually wondering maybe if you wanna. Watch my new Spongebob theory, maybe give me some feedback. Dude, yeah, absolutely. I love those videos, okay. come on in, man. Yay. How's the uh, film thing Want going? to take my muse? Oh, no. uh, funding's a nightmare. I'm sure you figured it out. Um, so just uh, give it a watch, tell me what you think. And uh, is it cool if I use your bathroom? Yeah, no problem, it's, it's just right through there, so. <laughs> uh, I guess enjoy. He's gonna be shitting for a long time. Damn, all the sound just disappeared from the TV. Well, this is a very nice back room. Just lay it off right here. I wonder, does he rent houses or... It's time to get out. Yo. Thank you again so much for watching. This was an especially tough one to figure out, but I think it all came together in the end. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> the SpongeBob guy. Hey Alex, I finished the theory. Pretty good stuff, man. Yeah, you've been in there for a long there? time, mate. Hi. Alex. 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 Where are you? Oh, uh, you're trying to play hide and seek again, man. Eh? Hi. Oh. Hi, Wesley. Hi. What are you doing down here? I'm taking the shit here. I, I didn't know this was the bathroom, man. Eh? I mean, I, <laughs> I thought this was the oh, bathroom. You must have got lost. <laughs> that, that's okay. Yeah, uh, actually I got the lost. Video. Yeah, epic. It was, it was shit. Hey, is, is everything okay? Oh, everything is, is okay? fine. How dare would, you assume that? Everything be okay? Yo, I wouldn't be okay. I mean, come on, dude. You're... You're acting weird. Damn, man. You know, you're right. I have been... That's an insult. Feeling weird lately. 
Wesley, I have a confession to make. I have a muse. Show you a video. Why are you here? Do shit on your floor. To help you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bro. You're not sorry. Hey, um, sorry about all of that. Uh, I think I'm coming down with something. Sorry, right, man. Uh, I'll clean it yeah, up. Yeah, all right. Uh, but you should probably go though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go. Um, you get the fuck sorry. out of my house. Yeah. Feeling. Like my stomach just got pumped. Shit. You'll feel better soon. You will feel better soon. I don't know how to feel about what I did. I get it, but you did the right thing. And get soon you won't have to worry about your muse at all. Yeah, but someone else has to worry about it now. What of else ye? Take my shit. But t t tomorrow, bring me the meat, all right? I like the uh, the haircut, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, long hair just didn't really feel like me. Thanks again for your. I don't like your hair. Talking me through all this. Yeah, um, look. Glad I don't have to. Do like it on my own anymore. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I get how weird it all is. Yes. See you. Are you working for Heights of Off? Uh? I mean, the moves. Uh? Must have given someone else a muse too, right? Yes. Did you give me my muse? Damn, Alex Bill, the detective. What a genius. You needed help. It worked, didn't it? Hell yeah, it did. Good night, Victoria. Welp. Well done. Well done, my woman. Don't be. Will contain you. The SpongeBob guy. Ah. Nice. Imagine there's something hidden in the background. Well, all right, boys. I guess that was it for this video, and um, we will now wait uh, until some. I'm gonna wait until new content about the Muse thingy comes out and all that. But yeah, that was it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye, boy.